All right, Shalom. I want to start off by saying Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means uh, what I said was bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. Um, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, uh, this is gonna be a quick one. Um, I saw this on the feed. This is from the Dabu channel. All right, and um, Dabu, I hope you see this video. You know, um, you know, stop playing, yo. You know what it is? These guys that report, they act like they don't see uh, the men of the Lord. You know, they act like they're not watching the videos. They act like they haven't scopioed and sat down and listened to see what the men of the Lord is talking about when it comes to these uh, topics, you know, these different um, things that happens, like far as what they call UFOs, you know, unidentifying flying objects. Well, we understand through the Bible because there's plenty of scriptures that speaks about what you call unidentifying flying objects. We call them IFOs, identifying flying objects, because we understand who ride in those vehicles. We understand who vehicles they are, and they are the Most High, all right, who his name is Yahweh, okay, which means he is or he to be, and that's going back to the Hebrew, okay, and just like who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, all right, which is he deliverer, he savior, going back to the Hebrew, Okay, and um, you know, I'm gonna play some of this video, but the title, wow, all kinds of mystery objects caught flying around the skies. And when we see these things, these things been here from day one, all right, from the ancient of days, which is the most high, okay. And when they make their appearance and for you to see in the heavens, those are signs, all right. Now, is the now, do we know what the purpose is of what they're doing? When they're doing it, no. But we do know, if the Lord allow you to see them, that those are the signs. Okay? And uh, I'm going to just play some of the video, and then I'm going to read um, some of the uh, comments. Because these guys that report and do these certain topics, they act like we don't exist. They try to act like uh, they're looking for truth. You know, they always quick to tell you, uh, wake up, eyes open. You know, that's Dabu slogan. Wake up, eyes open. You know, they want to get to the bottom of it. Well, you guys, all you do is just get together and, and, and talk about it. But you don't do nothing. And then when somebody presents to you the actual truth, you don't want to believe it because it's not your truth. You see? Instead of giving an ear, all right, of understanding, you know, and reading, you know, do you believe in the Bible? Or do you think that, oh, the so-called white man wrote the Bible? You know, a lot of people got their own false philosophies and what they think. And that's why this truth boils down to faith. And that faith is a gift that is given to you by the Heavenly Father. So not everybody can have the gift. Not everyone can have the true faith. You know? You know, you guys are basically like full of shit, man. You know? As soon as somebody come with you with the truth, but because it's not your truth and not that you want to under, well, let me say, you don't want to believe that because it's not favoring you or what you know, then it's not true. You guys are full of shit, man. You know? So I'm going to play some of the video and um, I'm going to read some comments. This is Dabu7. Got to give a shout out to James in upstate New York that has been sending in all this stuff. He has imagery, video clips of these objects moving around the moon. In the sky, and he's catching them on GoPro. Now, I, I ain't gonna play none of this video. I'll, you, you guys could go to it yourself. You know, I don't want him. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But um, let's go down here to this comment, right? A couple of comments. All right, now here we go. Somebody put Yaz chariots, and you know it, Dabu. Now, before I saw this comment after watching this video. You know, I was I was saying this. And then when I saw this comment, I said, yo, you know, 
Because <laughs> he knows exactly what they are. He knows, but he plays dumb and act like, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, the, the people of the Lord and, and the doctrine. Because what it is, the doctrine of who the people, the Lord's people truly are, the true Jews that the Bible speaks of, all right, which are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. You guys hate that shit. You hate it. You hate it. And you don't want it to be true because to you, we look like niggas. We look like somebody that's just spreading racism and it's not equality. Well, if you read the Bible and you understood the Bible first, you would know that the most high is not equal. OK, for everyone on earth, he made servants and slaves. And right now, we're the servants and slaves. But the originally, originally, we are the we are the gods of the earth, man. All right. Hey, is it not written in Deuteronomy seven and six? He have made the special people above the rest of the people on the earth. You know, but according to today's in this American uh, false philosophy, you know, you don't want to be you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, not everyone is going to agree with you. You're going to be, you know, if you teaching that that truth, which is the truth of the doctrine, which is of the Bible, then you're not going to have many friends. You're not going to have much support. But you guys be looking for money, man. And that's what you do this YouTube for is for money. You know, so it says Yah's chariots and you know it, Dabu. That's right. Now, here it is. Um. Uh, see, <laughs> he knows it. He knows he's acting stupid because there's no way you got videos of brothers, you know, bringing out the scriptures that edifying of what these flying objects are that fly in the heavens. And it's plenty of scriptures. All right. <laughs> and look, somebody put that's right. <laughs> and, <he> said, <laughs> and I was just amazed because. I was thinking this before I saw these comments, man. Now, this person here, fire, fire side chat, he has a point. Some of these will be the elite who will try to fool the people before the return of our Christ. Now, he has a point because they have something called Project Blue Bean, where they could make like a, a image, a hologram, hologram Im image in the heavens to deceive you in which we believe that they're going to put that face of Cedric Bourgier, all right, of who everybody calls Jesus Christ. Okay. They're going to put that image in the heavens and act like he's talking to you. So these people that's are in Christianity and that bow down to the Pope, you guys are going to lose your damn mind. All right. You even had the Pope who they say that is the, the closest person to God. He's telling you to take the chip. He's telling you to take the mark of the beast. All right. So I understand where he's coming from. But what we see in the heavens, Esau can't mimic this. And Esau is the so-called white man. All right. He can't mimic what the Lord chariots can do in the heavens. All right. Let's go down. Uh, Brother Kwam Yasha Allah, 144, he put Matthews 24, 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together the elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other. And that's right. Because how are the elect today is going to be delivered? They're going to be delivered by the Lord's chariots. By the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. When he come in those chariots. And you know what? I'm going to get a quick preset real quick. Uh, this is Revelations 1 and 7. All right. And it says, behold, he cometh with clouds. So Dabu, stop acting like you don't see these videos, man. OK, you 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 sat down, you examine different camps and, and topics of chariots. It's all you people are watching, but you secretly watch. You want to know what they are. The government knows what they are. It's not a coincidence. It's not something uh, 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 why, you know, it's not for nothing. Why they actually uh, allowing every they are admitting and allowing everyone to know that they know that these are far, flying objects that, that fly in our sky. All right. They know exactly what they are. OK, so it says, behold, he cometh with cloud. Who is the he? That is who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. He's coming with clouds, which means he's coming with the chariots. 
okay, that fly in the heavens, that go through the portals, man, from the fourth dimension to our dimension, okay? It says, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they shall, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so Amun, all right? So this is also even touch on reincarnation because remember, Yahweh Shai, he was pierced. And it says here, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So how is they going to see him, which I was 2,000 years ago? Because these same two guys are backhand the earth, you know? So let me go back um, and read the brother's comment, you know? Now let's see what the... Now, now look what this guy says. Yay, no trumpets. So all, all, all this person could understood could understand from what the brother's scripture was was the trumpet. The brother, the brother is referring to the point in the scripture of Matthew twenty four and thirty one. The major point is what, and they shall gather together his elect, because the Lord is going to gather his elect. How? By the angels. Those are angels that ride in those vehicles, man. Stop trying to get away from the Bible. See, they don't, a lot of you people don't want to touch on the Bible because, hey, the men of the Lord is on the Bible, man. You don't want to go that route because it's going to make people offended. You know? So really, what are you doing? You really trying to wake people up? You ain't trying to wake nobody up, man. You know, you just want to report so you can get the views and get some money, man. You know? Now, let's keep going down. I saw the brother put more comments. Uh, Kwam Yasha Allah 144 it says some of these clips are the angels of the Lord, right? Somebody put indeed they are. Anyway, all right, let's see, let's get one more. I know you put a few comments down there. All right, here's another one. Psalm 68, 17, the chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. All right. And uh, let me get this scripture. Let's go to Zechariah 5 and 1. It says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roe. So what did the prophet Zechariah see? He saw what you saw, Dabu. He's seeing what you seeing. All right. I ain't going to play the video. He's seeing what you saw. But set, the Lord brought this chariot close to him so he, he can actually get a measurement on how big it was and how long it was, how wide it was. Then I turned and lift up my eyes and look and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. So he gave you the measurement. Okay. Now here's the point. Verse three. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. OK, so when you see these chariots and you get these different sightings, remember, this, the Bible says through here, Zechariah, the angel was talking to him. He was telling him that this is the curse that go across the face of the earth. OK, and it remaineth in the house of the thief. Now, who is the thief? These Edomites. So you people don't want to touch on the past. You want to forget about it. But you can't know your future unless you know your past. You know? And guess what? He is the thief. He robbed, raped, stolen. 
And I'm talking about the elites that rule this world. They are the house of Esau. Okay? That go by the name the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergs, the Rockefellers. They all Edomites. Okay? They're the chief house Edomites who rule the world. So I'm going to read it again. Verse 4. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and unto the house of him that swears falsely by my name. Does not this place, this God forsaken place, America, swear falsely by the name of the Lord? When a president is sworn in, they use the Apocrypha, which is a part of the Bible, and they swear on it. They use the Bible itself and they swear on it. What do they call the name of the Lord today? Jesus Christ. How can a, his name be Jesus? Then the letter J didn't come around to what? The 16th, 17th century. When who you call Jesus Christ was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He spoke Hebrew. His name would be Hebrew. His people would be what? Hebrew Israelites from the 12 tribes. Why you people keep trying to get away from that? You know? <laughs> the truth is the truth. And these, and these chariots that's showing forth and the Most High got you, Dabu, you know, putting up these videos. Because why? The second return. The Lord is on his way back, man. These are prophecies. These are signs. These things has to happen before the great and dreadful, the dreadful day. When they start forcing that RFID microchip, that's prophecy. All right. You know, people all over the world already has the mark of the beast in their heads, their foreheads, their spinal cords, you know, their legs, their backs. All right. But, um. I read three again, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off on this side according to it. And everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it. All right. So, you know, I'm just leave it as that, man. You know, Dabu, you full of shit, man. You know, nothing personal. You know, I watch your videos for the report. You know, keep it coming. But when it comes to these topics like the chariots of the most high, you know what you know what they are. Y'all, y'all got y'all little summit meetings, y'all come together and y'all discuss on what the government is doing and the government did that, government did this. Y'all just talking about it. All right. But then when somebody present the truth, you want to hide from that. You don't want to be part of that, 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 that uh I guess that uh vibration. Because a lot a lot of people, you know, favor. You know, not a lot of people uh, enjoy listening to the truth, you know, you know, when they see us out there teaching the so-called blacks and Latinos. All right. And they out there teaching and, 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 and bringing out the Bible. You call them radical. You know, you think that, you know, the, these guys is the uh, the ones that, uh, you know, just just street. They just street. They just hood and, you know, gangster or whatever the case is, man. But you know what? That lead me to another scripture. Let me um get this real quick because we're the ones that you least expect. Keep despising this truth, man. Keep despising it. You know, because you the one that's gonna have the shitty end of the stick. Uh where I want to go. Let's get this one and I'll wrap it up. This is uh Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Alright, so this is Wisdom of Solomon five and one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labor. All right. And where the righteous men, you know, that standing in great boldness. Let me say the men of the Lord, the men that are out teaching this truth. And I'm going to say it starting with the elders and apostles of great millstone, man. All right. That's teaching 100 percent truth. It says, then shall the righteous men stand in great boldness. That's great boldness to be out there on those streets in season, out of season, recording themselves and recording the word so that can go out worldwide. You know, hey, it's, it's really a form of treason, you know, but the Lord, what? He said his, his, his men shall not be pushed into a corner anymore. He said, this this word must go out through the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come. He said, I will give you passages according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So this word going to go out. 
So it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that have afflicted him. Because who's afflicted us? Esau. Y'all can get into your little rhetorics and talk about how, oh, it's the black man's fault. It's our fault first. We can't hate the white man. And we this and that. Man, you look at that condition and where we're fighting to get out of. Who brought them guns here? Who brought those drugs here? All right. Who put us in, 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 in ghettos? Okay. Who made it harder uh, uh, for, for, for us to, uh, to just, to just, to just have resources, man. Let's not forget, man. It's deeper than what you think it is now, because they allow you to go to school. It's all about you getting an education. What education they giving you? They're giving you their education, their history. In order for you to make it, you got to make it in their system. And if you climb up some other way, oh, they're going to shoot your ass down, man. That's why you you pro-black guys and the black unconscious movement and, you know, guys like, um, uh, I forgot his name right now, uh, activists, he talking about what black people need to do and this and that. It ain't never going to work, you know? It ain't never going to work because Esau going to drop bombs on it, man. It's history, man. You look at Black Wall Street, you know? Anyway, it says... Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labors. And these Edomites have not made an account for our labors. All right. Then they, excuse me, when they see it, they, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So what is it that... They're going to see that's going to be strange. <laughs> what is it that they're going to see that's going to be strange? I'll read it again. When they see it, they see what? The salvation, the deliverance. When you start, when in that time, when that day approach, with which we're approaching, when the Lord's prophecy is fulfilled in the time of the Lord's prophecy to have his elect be delivered. Oh, you Edomites, you're going to see it. Not just Esau, but you other nations, okay? They're going to see the elect being taken up in those chariots and those foreign objects that's flying in the sky, okay? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Why are they going to be troubled with terrible fear? Because it's something that they never look for, something they, they have no power, you know, to come against. It's out of their hands. It's out of their league. And shall be amazed because your jaw is going to be open. You know, your mouth, you're going to be gaping. You're going to be shocked and shall be amazed at the strangeness. And that's strange. You don't see chariots picking up uh, people and dropping them off. <laughs> you know, you see the angels picking up men and then dropping them off like it's normal. You try today. They're trying to make norm homosexuality. So they don't want homosexuality to be strange because they want to make it a norm they want you to be used to it teach your children it's okay pride 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 well the scriptures talk about pride you know pride brings what a haughty fall pride leads to what your destruction so it's a perfect slogan that the homosexuals have when it comes to pride you know when they claim in pride 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 because at the end it's destruction the lord already showed you that with sodom and gomorrah so anyway, it says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So keep despising his truth and keep despising the word. Keep acting like the men of the Lord ain't out there putting out these videos and y'all not scopio and, 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 and listening and watching secretly, knowing what they are, but don't want to go that route of pushing that because... You don't want to be, uh, how can I say, put in that type of category, you know? You don't want that uh, uh, negative feedback to come, you know? And that's the big difference, man. If you have the most high, you on your, you have your high about Shemel Shai, the world's going to hate you. And that's just how it goes, man. So if you're ashamed of the Lord, the Lord's going to be ashamed of you. So it says, verse 3, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometime in derision 
and a proverb of reproach? We fools accounted his life madness because you see Jake out there killing each other, gang banging, strung out on drugs, bunch of dancers and basketball, football players. You know, you looked at our life as madness, the poor. OK, they'd never be rich. They'd never come up as a nation. For we fools accounted his life madness. You look at the prophets, the men of the Lord out there. Look at them out there. They, they, got, the, they got their garments on. They got their, their dresses on. And what you'll say, they out there cursing people out. They using, uh, uh, they using curse words. They profanity. That's not God-like. You know, look at them screaming in the camera. Look at them, you know, nah, you can't. That's just ugly. That's not the way you're supposed to handle God's word. That's what you people actually think in your mind, man. Well, the scriptures say we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. We out there, you know, in the summer, we out there in the winter, you know, you, you call us the filth, you know, the despicable. It says, how was he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? I can't wait for that day to see the, the, the impressions on your faces, man. When the Lord reveal who his men are, which he are now, you know, but when that day come, the world is going to know who the Lord's people are and who particularly his elect. It says, how is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints because the saints are what the Israelites. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth? <laughs> That's right. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We worried ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Now, ultimately, that's these Edomites. But that goes for all you scoffers and all you non-believers, man, that despise the truth. This is what you this is. This is what you're going to be saying if you are alive to say this, to see it. Because you just might be in a spirit world. We're, come, we're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble, man. This is the Lord's movie. All right? All this YouTube stuff is going to stop one day, man. They're going to they're putting an end to it. That's why a lot of these YouTubers are complaining about, oh, their views. They complain about their subscribers. They complain about their lack of money. The algorithm can't use certain words. Esau is clamping down. All right? Because eventually it won't be no internet. It won't be no YouTube, man. It says we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. And that's and that's if you in wickedness and destruction, that's because you're believing in lies, man. You live in your life in the way you think it should be. Okay? Yay, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. You see, you despise the truth, man. Now, verse eight, it says, what have pride profit of us? Because most of you guys, you got pride, man. You got pride. That's why the brothers always bring it up. Um, the, the incident that happened, I believe, last year, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the brother from Hawaii. Uh, it was a false alarm. And I think they sent everybody texts, uh, text messages or something, alerts about a missile being shot off and then everybody flocked to his channel and that's a brother man all right teaching the truth all of a sudden everybody uh flocked to the prophet's channel you know to, to get what the answers ain't nobody gonna be flocking to no dabu's channel to seeing what's going on going on they gonna want to know what's going on from the bible what did the lord say you know what have pride profit of us for what good have riches with our vaunting brought us all those things are passed away like a shadow and as and as a post that hasteth by all right so you know i hope you brothers who tune in uh were edified and just wanted to make a point on this video i saw here with dabu wow all kinds of mystery objects caught flying around the skies you make these videos over and over and act like you don't know what they are dabu you a jake man I don't believe he's an Edomite. He's too got too much flavor, salt. He's an Israelite, you know. 
But I know through the algorithm and most of these YouTubers, they want to talk about certain topics we bring up. Uh, scriptures, because they know the truth, but they don't want to get hit with the algorithm because Esau penalized them because they making money off their videos, man. You know, but the truth is the truth, man. You know, and all these guys that do such such reporting, you know, they you're not really you're not doing nothing but just just report it. You know, all that eyes open and wake up, wake up for what? You ain't telling nobody the truth. You're just waking up to the madness. You see it, but what about the truth? How can you be uh uh covered? You have to be covered through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right, the true and living power. So hey. Those of the whole for elect, I hope you was edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect. Shalom.